This is the world's deadliest snake. And its venom can kill you in three hours. So what are your chances of survival if you are bitten? What does it do right before it attacks? And could you outrun it? Mind your step as we take on the Black Mamba. This snake is the true champion of the snakes when it comes to how lethal they are. If its bite is left untreated, the fatality rate is a frightful 100%. You heard me right, dead, you're done. And in the Black Mamba's natural habitats of South Africa and Swaziland, this is obviously a problem the people have had to deal with for generations. To compound the issue, there is little to no access to anti-venom in countries like Swaziland. That's a major problem, considering how fast-acting its venom is. In as little as 30 minutes, you'll start feeling its effects. It'll start with you losing the ability to talk. Without antivenom, you could be comatose in 60 minutes and dead in 3 to 16 hours. Why is it so lethal, you ask? Just 15 to 20 milligrams of venom is a lethal dose, but scarily, the black mamba can inject up to 14 times that amount in one attack. So if you find yourself in the unfortunate scenario of staring one down, remember these tips. A black mamba usually avoids confrontation and will only become aggressive if it feels threatened. Let's be clear, I'm not saying it's a good idea to pet it, that would be stupid. The reason why it's getting all antsy with you could simply be because you're blocking its path. Also, look out for its defense display. It will raise its head off the ground, flattening its neck to appear bigger and start flicking its tongue. You'll also see its mouth open, ready to strike. And if you look closely, again, not suggesting that you do this in real life, you'll discover how the black mamba got its name. The inside of its mouth is black and bluish in color. Your best option is to slowly back away and hope it will too. It's likely it's just defending itself and will want to move on just as much as you do. And what if it doesn't back down? There are myths about how fast a black mamba can move, even outpacing a horse. Sure, they don't just have a lightning fast strike, they can also slither at incredible speeds. But we need to bust that myth of it keeping up with a horse, although that would be a sight to see. The average horse can gallop between 40 to 48 kilometers per hour. In comparison, black mambas can move at about 11 kilometers per hour, but they have been observed going over 19 kilometers per hour. They're not even close to moving as fast as a horse, but it's not bad at all, considering that at their slowest, a black mamba could still outpace a human. But don't worry, the chances of you being chased by one are slim. They only prey on small mammals like mice and squirrels. If you are in the unlikely situation of having to outrun a black mamba, try not to stumble or fall over. No pressure. And if their deadly venom wasn't enough, they can reach up to four meters in length. Maybe not as big as anacondas, so if you want to see just how big they can get, why not check out our episode on them? See how we did that there? They bite with some of the deadliest venom on the planet and can move faster than you. That's what black mambas do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.